But it doesn't make sense a lot of it, you know? Nathan Pritchard is cold, hungry, and down on his luck. Kind of homeless. Me and my brother are just taking care of each other. Nathan's been to jail and drug rehab. He's trying to stay straight because he has seven children to look after. Uh, one 11 year old, uh, three five year olds, um, seven year old, and 11 month old, and I forgot the other one. But uh, seven kids, four different women. The one bright spot in his day is the mobile gospel trailer and his talks with Steve Kember. Will God punish you in hell as well? I appreciate like people that sur like this around because they're very helpful, you know, they really help your soul and your spirit out when you're down. Nathan is now a regular. Steve Kember is the pioneer of the mobile mission. After working in the north and elsewhere, he moved to Prince Albert and converted this car hauler into the gospel mobile drop-in center. This is the first time I've done it on wheels. We have had drop-in centers in the past, in Brantford, Ontario for years, and in Lethbridge. The trailer rolled into Prince Albert this fall. Having no fixed address allows him to take the word of God to the street, to people most in need. I wanted to have a trailer where I could go where the people are, because the building isn't always ideal to where the people are. Kember fills the coffee pot and juice pitchers. He writes his daily message on the board and waits for visitors. When people come in this place, I try and try and walk with them, try and make them feel comfortable try and say, look, uh, take whatever you like here, help yourself, it's free. People who use the trailer are often on assistance, sometimes addicted to drugs or alcohol, broke and tired. Every day we're down here with the trailer, people come in here and they tell me they're empty. That's a common expression. And I believe they're trying to fill like someone said, a three-cornered heart with a round world, and it won't work. And I believe that at the root of every person, spiritual problems are laying there. And God is the answer. Kemper hopes to do more than fill cups of coffee. He wants to fill their soul with the Word of God. When I can talk to one person seriously, about the Lord Jesus Christ because there's a lot of hurting people. And if it, if it wasn't for the grace of God, the goodness of God, if I was raised in the same way that some of these people that I meet that come into the trailer here, if I was raised the same way as them, I would be doing the same as them. I'd be in the same situation as them. I'm no better than them. Do you ever wonder where you're going to be after you come to the end of life? Kember started the outreach in August and has learned the names of regulars. So far, he's handed out over 700 posters. Some people remember faces, some remember names, and I remember neither. But I'm working on trying to remember the names of the people that come in. I'd like to get to know the people. He's building relationships, and locals are learning his name, too. Steven is a good guy, you know, and like, it's pretty much when I came in here, it's just cool. And I like every poster, every little poster I take. But hey, thank you, Steven, so much for everything. I think he's got a really good thing going here, this dropping thing for coffee and movies and different things. When it's warm, when it's cold out, it's going to be really, really good for the people. And he talks to them and he treats them all equally. He doesn't say you can't have this, you can't have that. Kember sometimes receives help from local pastors. Steve uh, sometimes is a one-man show and he, and he takes on more than he can handle so I like to come out and help out and, and just be an encouragement. Nathan is paying another visit to the mobile gospel. This time he's high. Another local pastor and counselor is offering to take him to detox. After a long discussion Nathan agrees to let him help. Kemper plans to continue his work throughout the winter on days weather permitting. For Shaw, I'm Lisa Rizzo.